Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show everyone how to make a cool intro at the very beginning of their YouTube video. You know where you have your name, maybe your title, and maybe an image that comes in and kind of fades out. They should only be about five to eight seconds, somewhere in that range, and have a lot of interest, you know, provide interest to your viewers. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to do this in Keynote. It should take about 15 minutes. First thing you want to do is you want to download Keynote if you don't have it, um, or just launch Keynote. Keynote's a free program, it's right here, it looks like this. Um, it should be on a Macintosh. I'm going to go with the wide screen here. You can either do standard or wide. I'm going to go ahead and click this basically white presentation and then I'm going to click choose and it's going to open up Keynote for me right here. So this is the first part you want to open up. Um, I'm going to make kind of a, a fake <laughs> you know, a fake video intro here. So obviously it's not going to be extravagant or anything like that. I just want to show you the basics right now. Um, all you have to do is basically type in what you want here. I'm going to type in my name there and I'm just going to pretend like I have a photography company. Um, there we go. So I'm just going to do kind of a tagline here. So the first thing you want to do obviously in any of this stuff is you can obviously go over here and you can change how you want your text to look. Um, some people <laughs> like text a whole bunch of different ways. That's up to how you want it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and change it just to give it a little bit of interest here. Um, but it's obviously I'm not going to put a lot of time into this. So um, you can go over here though and you can select what the kind of text you want. And I like that. So, so far I like those two texts uh, fonts for my, my intro here. So that I'm going to go ahead and click on this and I'm going to move this down a little bit. And then I'm going to click on this and move this down because I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to be putting my graphic a little bit above this up in here. And actually I'm going to move it down just a touch more. Just like that. So, all right. So the next phase I want to do is I'm going to move in my graphic in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I have this lens picture which I downloaded. As you can see, it's a pretty big picture of a lens. Um, well, much too big for the screen right now, but I'm going to go ahead and shrink that to a size that'll fit in here. Let me go ahead and move this down a little bit. And as you do this, you can see the yellow lines. They kind of help you with spacing everything. If you want to go ahead and space this in the very middle of the screen. So there you go. All right, so basically that's all I want the screen to do. I want it to show my name and say photos for the world. I'm going to add some music later and then I want to have some kind of animations here. So the very first thing, I'm going to highlight Craig Nidell here, my name. I'm going to go up to animate up here, if you can see it up here in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to do add effect. Um, if you can see in here, you can do some previews. It's going to like show you what happens. So basically, as you add an effect, there's a whole bunch of effects you can do. Um, if you click preview, it'll show you exactly how it works. And I like that one there. So I'm going to go back up. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to go fly in. Let me just try that one more last time to make sure that's the one I like. I like that. So I'm going to click on it. And there it is. So it's actually added that uh, animation to my movie. Up here, you can actually say how long it should take. If you move this, you know, it's going to take one second to slide in. And as you can see, it takes one second there. Um, I want it to go a little bit quicker, maybe 0.6 seconds. I'm going to preview it and you can see it goes a little quicker. So uh, you can fool with, you know, whatever the perfect is, you know, perfect duration is here. But I like uh, one second. I want it coming in from the left. There's some other things up here you can do, obviously, from the top, from the bottom. Um, the order I'll get into in a second and then delivery all at once. Um, you can have it come in in paragraphs and things like that, but since I only have one line, I'm going to say all at once. So that's the first thing. Next thing is down here. I'm going to click on the text that's right below it. I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to add effect. What I want to do here is I'm just kind of making this up as we kind of, you know, go. I'm not sure how this is actually going to look, but I'm going to try this spin one here. As you can see, I just previewed it. So I'm going to click on spin. There it comes in and it says duration looks good about 1.5 seconds from the left to the right. It's going to spin um, text delivery by object. And then the order is number two. The other one was number one, as you can see. And I'll get into that in a second as well. And then delivery is all at once again. I don't want to, um, you know, have it come in by paragraph because there's only one line there. All right. So that's that two parts. And this part here is going to be the third part and I'm going to add an effect to this. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to have this actually do something and then I'm going to have it dissolve later and I'll show you how to do that. But for now, let's just see what we can do here. Um, so that's kind of a cool effect there. It's called the iris effect. So I have this selected. I'm going to come over to ears and I'm going to click on that. And I like that. I like the duration and the order. So, so far so good. Um, if you look down here though, there's a build order button way down here. And if you click that, it's going to add a build order over here. 
And what you want to do with that is you can see that it's going to have number one, number two, number three. If you click on number one, it'll say the video or this video should start on click. I'm going to make it, um, let me see here. For now, I'm going to do on click and I'll, sh I'll show it to you here in a second. Um, actually, let me go ahead and click on that. On click. The second one here will be basically after build one. Um, so the text will come in after this is build one, this is build two. So this is going to, this one's going to come in after build one. So I put after build one here. I'm going to delay half a second. And I'm going to click on the lens here. And this effect will come in after build two. So this is the build one, this is build two, and after build two, this will come in. And I want to be to have that delayed maybe. 0.3 seconds. So, so far, let me go ahead and click preview here. You can see the first build comes in, the second one comes in, and then the third one. So I, I don't like how fast everything is. It's going to be too slow. So let me just see here. This says on click, but I'll put after transition. Um, let me just see here. I'm going to move this down to 0.2, move this down to 0.2, preview it again. And so far, so good. So everything looks good there. This thing is taking too long, so if I click on this and I go back over here, I'm going to make this actually about, a, about half the amount of time. I went from a second to 0.5 seconds here, if you can see up here. So I'm going to go back to this preview and I'm going to watch this again. There goes the first thing, there goes the second thing, and then the third thing comes in. So, um, so far, so good. And I think we're all set with that. So, all right. So, so far I like this. And the next order of business is going to be adding how these are going to be removed from the screen so everything came in for a couple seconds so what we want to do then is we want to do let me click on the first thing here so up here there's a build in action you can see that's what we actually used was build in um, and that's how we animated everything there's also a build out animation it's over here if you click on that you can actually add an effect so I'm going to click on that now on the build out and I'm going to go ahead and pick something for this to actually do so that it basically flies out. For example, let's see how that does it. So let's see how that flies out. So I'm going to click on that and that'll fly out. The order is number four now. As you can see, it was added over here as number four. And it can go from the left. It can go you know, from the left to the right. It, you can basically fool with all these different settings over here. Um, but I'm going to make this again 0.5 seconds. So that's that. So basically in all these we have to do a build out. So I'm going to click on the next one. Go back over here. Click on build out. Add an effect. And if you look at like wipe for instance, that's going to remove that. So I'll click on wipe. But I don't like how long that takes. So let's just preview it again. And that's a lot quicker. So I went ahead and I built that out. Of course it's going to add a fifth spot over here. So that you have that over here. And finally the third thing here is the lens and we're going to do a build out on the lens add an effect and I like this down here is this confetti or crumble um, they're really kind of cool effects here's a crumble effect and I'm going to probably use that one so I'm going to go ahead and click on crumble it takes a little bit of time I'm going to do 1.5 seconds 1.75 like that and that's the end of it so um, the order is number six it's going to go from left to right and here's the duration so back over here, we have these, you know, we have one, two, three, which were already in this build order. Now we have four, five, six. So I'm going to click on four. And in here, let me see. We have um, after build three, we want this to start with a duration of 0.2 seconds. This one again will be after build four with 0.2 seconds. And this one will be after build five, 0.2 seconds. So let's take a look at how this is so far. So my name comes in, this spins in, the lens comes in, that goes away, and then the thing dissolves. So pretty cool, it's just kind of a quick animation that you can create here uh, using Keynote. Um, now what you want to do here is let's just say we like this. I mean, we can do a lot more with this, obviously. Um, you know, this is just a very simple lead-in. But for now, let's just assume that we do like this. Uh, what we can do then is if you go up here to File, see up here and we can go export to and we can go to movie um, and in here I can go to 
1080p for my resolution, self-playing. Let me see here. Go to next slide after five seconds. Go to next build after two seconds. So let me just see this. We're going to change these. See what happens here. We'll click next. I'm going to go ahead and name this as a test dash keynote video. We're saving as 1080p, so I'm going to go ahead and export that. So it's going to be creating a movie now. We can create this. We can throw this into like something like iMovie, which I'll show you, and then add a little bit of music to it. So that's actually saved the video, and the video is now uh, saved up somewhere. But let's go ahead and see how everything looks if we go ahead and do this. So there's that, and then we got this, this, and this, and everything looks great in Keynote. So realistically, there's not much else left to do here. I'm going to come out of here. Let me go ahead and show you exactly now how to add this to iMovie. So what we'll do here is we're going to go ahead and click on iMovie. And you can use uh, Final Cut Pro for this as well, or anything that you think is going to work for this. But I'm just going to show you, you know, some examples of how to actually implement this into any type of a movie uh, program, even you know Premiere if you want to use that as well. I'm going to create a new movie here. So we're in here, and uh, let's go to Finder. Let's go ahead and open up Finder. We'll go to Documents. Now I got to try to find the movie that I actually just created. And so I'm going to go ahead and drag this into iMovie. And as you can see, I made it a little bit too long. It's nine seconds. But we can shorten it in here. So basically, I guess, you know, after this, it's got a long, you know, piece here that's actually a bunch of whites, white blank space. So I'm going to go ahead and just move that like this. So now we're about five or six seconds. So obviously, if I look in here, there's no sound right now. But if I go ahead and play this, this is a nice intro. Sorry about the uh, the delay there. It's just my computer because I'm doing a screen capture. So it, it's actually smooth when I see it. But I know on the screen capture, sometimes it gets a little bit of a hitch in there. So, so how do you like that? So that's basically how that looks. Um, the next thing to do here is going to be to just add a little bit of sound. So we're going to go to Downloads. Um, and again, I'm just making this up. I have no idea what any of this these sounds are but I'm going to go ahead and put a sound in here. I'm going to drag this below. And this starts like this. I'm going to go ahead and move this sound clip below here. And then I'm going to, right at the end here, I'm going to cut this right there. I split the clip, take this part of the clip, and I'm going to delete it. And let's go ahead and see what this sounds like. So you can see it's not the, uh, the best tutorial you've ever been through or the, the longest, but I just wanted to show you how you can actually go about creating a really quick intro to any video or a specific uh, video with some animation that keeps things interesting. So, of course, it's it's not, you know, again, it's not the most advanced class or anything like that, but it'll get you started. Go ahead and start fooling around with all the animations, the timing, the build numbers, and things like that. And uh, we'll go from there. But I just wanted to uh, thank you for watching my channel. Uh, please subscribe if you get a chance. I have very few subscribers right now, and I'm trying to build that up. I, I have about 20 or 30 videos. I'm trying to make a lot more. Um, if you can help me and just click subscribe, that'll help me a ton. And uh, until next time, we'll talk. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave some comments. Talk to you soon. Thanks.